Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Bernie coming at you fast with another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 gameplay and today we are going to be talking about some pre-game launch hype in Vonderhaar we trust. And there's a reason why I titled this video that because at least I trust in Vonderhaar. I know that he's a great person, a great individual who loves making games, knows what he wants to do with the game and uh... You know, he's, he's just an amazing person, and he's the only person that I can trust with a Call of Duty game. Now, unfortunately, uh, this game, when I recorded it, the beta was having its server issues that day, but it was still a good gameplay nonetheless. It has a couple of spikes here and there, but hopefully it's not too bothersome because the point of this is the commentary. So, um, Vaughn, if you guys don't know, is actually not going to be making another Call of Duty game after Black Ops 3. I don't know what he's going to be doing. I don't know if he's going to be helping making another game or if he's just retiring in general or what's going on, but he officially is not going to be making or participating in making another Call of Duty game after Black Ops 3. So this is his last hurrah, and hopefully he does make it his greatest one. I'm sure that's the way he wants to go down in history. He doesn't want to go down as a bad person or a bad developer. And um, that's what's really apparent with all of these pre-game launch leaks, all these discussions, all these streams. The new game modes, you know, the free run game mode, the old wager matches slash party games coming back into the mix. Those were always fun. Some new game modes being leaked. Just a lot of good stuff happening. A lot of good stuff happening. And I haven't had fun in a Call of Duty since Black Ops 2 where the type of fun where I could just play the game, the core game itself, without needing to compete or, you know, play tournaments or stuff like that. Because in Ghosts and in the AW... I only really had fun playing the game when it was like for game battles or you know tournaments and stuff like that and I don't know if that's just because I was bored playing public match because it was too easy or because I just like that competitive challenge and the, the brackets and whatever but it's just like every time I try to play public match in those games it wouldn't feel fun it wouldn't like I would always want to do something else besides that but in Black Ops 2 I had a blast playing the game, playing public match, playing league play, playing zombies, whatever it was, I didn't need to play game battles in order to have fun in that game. And I actually didn't play as much as I did in Ghost and, and AW when it comes to that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, what I'm really trying to say is hopefully Black Ops 3 will finally be a fun Call of Duty. Well, not fun, not Black Ops 3, but hopefully Black Ops 3 will be a fun Call of Duty. Finally, something that at least I've been earning for ever since Black Ops 2. I don't know how many people actually like Ghost and AW, and if you do, good for you. You know, that's your cup of tea. Um, I was alright with Ghost. I was 50-50 with it. I don't hate it like a lot of people do, but I, that doesn't mean I like it. And with AW, I started off, you know, with that whole, oh, it's a new COD kind of phase, you know, enjoying it. And then it got old really quick, and I did not like Advanced Warfare anymore. Uh, and Advanced Warfare is my least favorite COD out of all of them ever released. I'd rather play the classic COD over AW, but that's a different video. Um, so I'm just, I'm just really excited. I'm just really excited for Black Ops 3. Hopefully you guys are too. If you are, make sure you guys drop a like on this video and comment what you guys are most excited about. Uh, I personally am very excited that there's all these different game modes, always, you know, different things to keep me going. Uh, I might actually hit max prestige. I haven't hit max prestige in a COD since Black Ops 2, because again, you know, I just wouldn't play public match. The arena. I'm super excited for the arena because League Play was the best part of Black Ops 2. I absolutely loved it. I love making videos on League Play and I hope to make, you know, videos on arena. If you guys don't know, my channel started in Black Ops 2 and it started with League Play videos and that's where I got a lot of my popularity. Then once Black Ops 2 kind of stopped being the main card and I moved on, um, a lot of people weren't ready to move on with me and they still wanted more League Play videos and now those people are gone. But um, Black Ops 3, definitely gonna make more arena videos, gonna make a lot of debunking theories, hopefully those are always fun, some gameplay, some strategies, some guides, all that fun stuff, because I really do want to have fun with Black Ops 3. The reason I feel like I didn't make that many videos with Ghost and AW, and I still made a lot, like I still made a lot of videos, don't get me wrong, but the reason I didn't make them that much, or the reason I wasn't really driven to make them as much is because I didn't have fun playing the game, but when I have fun playing the game like I did with Black Ops 2, I'll make videos every single day about it, just because that's how much fun it is. So that's what I'm really excited for and hoping for. Hopefully, 
BO3 is a great game, great campaign, you know, great zombies, just everything. Just a good game, because I trust in Vaughn, and I know he knows how to make a good game, because he's a smart person, and he's done this before. He directed Black Ops 1, directed Black Ops 2, both of those were awesome games, Black Ops 1 still being my favorite game ever, and now Black Ops 3. So, hopefully, just hopefully, it's going to be a good game. Uh, but in the meanwhile... Gotta wait two and a half weeks still, so there is Halo coming out. I did get that, or I'm going to get that rather. I pre-ordered it, so I'll probably make a few videos on that while we wait. Um, just play it a little bit, you know, just getting a good next-gen Halo game, even if it turns out to be bad, whatever. It's still Halo. Halo's Halo. You, you gotta love it. It's like one of those things, like you just buy it. You know how people just buy Call of Duties? You just buy Halos. <laughs> that's, that's really just about it. That's the best way I can explain it. But, uh, yeah, let me know again, guys, down in the comment section below what you're most excited for. Like I said, I'm most excited for Arena uh, and Zombies. I love Zombies. Zombies are great. I love the Easter eggs. I love playing them with friends. I just love doing everything with everyone that happens to be Zombies. It's fantastic. So, yeah, there you guys have it. This gameplay is wrapping up. Uh, it will be done shortly in a minute. Uh, just some background. This is Safeguard. If you don't know, I was using the, the AK... I, I re oh, it's the ARC. That's right, the ARC-7. Wow, I almost forgot the name of that gun. I was going to call it the AK-12, but it's not. It's the ARC-7. It's the super crazy futuristic version of the AK that we're all going to... Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoy the video. If you did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff. And as always, make sure you all have a wonderful day.